just want to admit something. I think you're really amazing. Oh, yeah. Wrong type of hero, they've been 13 months. Happy 13 months, bitch. And you sent me a link? Minecraft Love Hunt. A free-to-play visual novel that was made to celebrate Valentine's Day with a dream fan base. With nine endings to go through, I sure hope you're in for a ride. Keo's boundaries concerning MCLH. Don't tell or show other content creators this game. I'm perfectly fine with you guys, like, telling Dream, George, or Sapnap about it. Or them finding this game out by themselves. But doing the same with other content creators outside of the Dream Team makes me feel uncomfortable. Ah! Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Fuck it. Oh, let's fucking go! Watch it literally just not run. Oh my god. Unfortunately, it runs. 8.59 p.m. You stretch in your seat in the process of getting ready for a match of Hypixel with your friends when you've gotten a notification on your phone. It was an alert from Twitch. Your favorite streamers are online. Well, you decided to put the stream up on your phone. Dream. Hi, hello. Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm here with George and Sapnap. Say hi. Hi. Hello. We'll be doing another Minecraft challenge for this stream. This challenge, we coded it so that we... Suddenly, their voices began to fade out as your eyelids started to feel heavy. You try to fight against the urge to shut your eyes, but it was proven futile as you felt your body fall back from your seat, completely blacking out. That's also me whenever I open up a Minecraft stream. For some reason, I immediately just... You felt your body fall back from your seat, complete blacking out. Thud. You let out a groan as you felt your back collide with the ground. You assumed that you would land it on your apartment floor. Apartment. <laughs> Until you heard three different voices from above you. That was a really harsh fall. Do you think they're okay? I don't know. I don't know, Dream. Why don't you try landing a 140 block fall with no MLG? Dream? That name sounded familiar. <laughs> Wait, guys, shh. They're waking up, I think. Ah! Why? Pain. Suffering. It is all I know. And it is all I shall ever feel. <laughs> there is no God. Only Satan incarnate. You were met with three familiar faces looking down at you in concern. <laughs> You were brought up to your feet by the tall male in front of you. You then began to pat the dirt off your pants as you come to the realization that you were surrounded by three of your favorite content creators. You're probably so confused right now. I go by Dream. What's yours? My what, motherfucker? What is your name? Hi. He used to fucking sound like that. <laughs> Dream was then pushed over to the side by a brunette. <laughs> <laughs> By a Bruh. net. Hi there, DNF Shooter26. I'm Sapnap. Sapnap, you didn't have to shove me. I'm really sorry for these two. This is all completely normal. Hello. <laughs> I'm George. Pleasure to meet you, DNF Shooter26. So, what's our plan now? Obviously, we're stuck in a Minecraft world, but we can't stay here forever. <laughs> A moment of silence had passed for a while, as all four of you try to think of a solution. Free the end? The what? The end. We find the stronghold, beat the ender dragon, and free the end. Just like how we usually do our challenges. I'm not sure if this will help us get back, but it's worth a try, right? All right then, let's split up since it's almost nighttime. I'll go mine for ores. George, you go get us as many wood as you can. As three of them went their separate ways, you were left on your own. You wanted to help out too, so you decided to... Oh God, do not prompt me. Get wood or wander around. If I get wood, doesn't that mean i'll be uh like uh touching um or uh, uh you decided to walk towards the path that george had taken one leading deeper into the forest biome uh, you decided to catch up with me you nodded as you went to the opposite side of the tree he was getting materials from listen i'm just saying okay if it's a single tree you don't mine a fucking tree from the other side of it it is fucking one block unless we're talking about like a two by two tree then mayhaps right but if it's a single tree, going to the other side is counterproductive. Go get another fucking tree, shit lips. I'm just saying. Oi, love. So you play Minecraft? I'm pretty sure you know of us. Is anything you like to do in particular that got you into it? I'm quite interested in coding, actually. I just happen to like the game. Let's just focus on getting more wood. <laughs> I'm quite interested in coding. You could say I'm a programmer. A pro-gramer, more like. That doesn't make any sense. Shut the fuck up. Coding, oh? 
That's cool. What was that fucking pan cut? Guys, I found a ruined portal. The both of your heads snapped towards the direction of where Sapnap's voice resonated and bounded over to this area. Nice find. As everyone reunited, they had huddled around the ruined portal. Dream and George had exchanged the materials they have obtained, successfully creating a crafting table. It literally takes one fucking log. It takes one log for wood crafting table. What are you talking about? All I'm saying is that if they just created a crafting table, they don't have stone yet. They need to create the crafting table so they can make the wooden pickaxe to go get the stone so they can make the stone tools, right? Dream is just built different. He just got lucky. He, he just, <laughs> he's just lucky. You were about to speak up when the sound of groaning was heard all around you. The three of you had lost track of time. As night came upon all of you, numerous mobs had begun to spawn. Guys, there's a village down there. Find a one block hole. That's my marker. Upon hearing this, Dream had already sprinted ahead, leaving everyone else to follow his lead. As you all ran, you heard a yelp from someone behind you. Ah! George! George was wrestling with a zombie. Sapnap also turned his head around and immediately wielded his axe. As you looked behind the younger brunette, you spotted a creeper approaching his way. <gasps> I gotta defend George! You wielded your axe up and high before striking down a crit onto the zombie that had grabbed a hold of George. <laughs> Doing it three more times, the mob then disappeared into smoke and a few orbs of XP. George, seemingly out of breath, appreciates your help. Fike Steve F shooter 26. So Sapnap like didn't die from the fucking creeper explosion or was there no creeper explosion or Dream had shoved a random door open and ushered all of you inside, breaking any lever or button nearby the entrance to ensure that no other mob could get in. A lever? What? Well, it seems like we're in the library. Might as well make the most of our time here and rest up till daylight comes back. Dream and Sapnap nodded at this. Dream continued to stay nearby the door, keeping watch of mobs outside. Sapnap had already decided to sit by the staircase to the upper floor of the library. George had already gone up to check out the many books on the shelves. You took this as a time to breathe and venture around. <laughs> What? I want to know more about books. I want to talk more about biomes. The recent events have tired you out. Your legs feeling wobbly. You decided to take a seat next to Sapnap. He glances at you. Tiring day, huh? You nodded as you bunched your arms on your knees and rested your head on top of them. <coughs> I simply just don't have the body of a little girl anymore, dude. I can't do it. Huh. Well, you know what they say, opposites attract. He teasingly says this, and you let out an unamused huff in return. He laughs at this. Oh, we're playing hard to get. Ah, ha, ha. You enter a nearby house to be greeted by a villager who stares at you for a moment before leaving the structure. All right, George, you go and get water. I'll go ahead and get some lava. Sapnap, I'll stay here and light the new portal up. You guys got the stuff? Everyone raises their needed item, confirming that they all have what they needed. Dream smiles at this before beginning to call George to his side to help complete the nether portal altogether. You stood by the side as the three other members had grouped up together to speed up the portal building process. They need one. They can take this corner, put it here, take this corner, replace that one, take this corner, replace that one. They only need one. And besides, you don't have any fucking dust. Diamonds. Whatever, it's fine. I don't care. As Sapnap shouted, all four of you had jumped into the portal at the same time. It doesn't really matter if you jump in. You all got to stand there for a few seconds. I don't know. After feeling light for a split second, as you thread through two different worlds, you feel gravity pulling you down as you entered a warmer surrounding. As you mind away, you heard a loud gasp echo from outside the cave. <gasps> The fortress is right here. You raise your eyebrows in surprise. It was just near spawn? That's so lucky. <laughs> He's so lucky, dude. Dream points towards nearby Blaze Spawner, calling Sapnap to his side. As they both begin to farm for the need of Blaze Rods, George was busy defending the area from the other mobs that have followed you. Two different mobs began to multiply as time passed, and you knew you had to help out somehow. Oh, I gotta assist George. You bounded over to George as quick as you can, swinging your axe at a nearby Wither Skeleton before shoving the others away with your own shield. George looks at you in surprise. <sighs> DNF shit 26, yeah. But he was cut off when two more skeletons had bumped against him. You reprimanded them, saying that it isn't the right time to complain about your split second choices. He silently nodded. You all bolted towards the right direction to the portal, the one you finally recognize, and gasp in relief when you spotted the familiar purple particles flaring into the air. Dream reaches it first, not entering the vortex, and instead opted out to take a swing at an approaching aggressive piglin mob. Get in, now! Without a second thought, Sapnap and George had entered the portal, their bodies slowly disappearing into the overworld the longer they stayed in. You glanced back at Dream and hesitated. You didn't want to leave him behind. Dream frowned at you. Go! When you didn't budge, Dream had instead pushed you through the portal. <gasps> no! Where is Dream? Your heart sank when you had to explain what had happened before you teleported back into the overworld. They both frowned at this. Of course he would. We have to go back to see if he's still there. We need to help him. Before their argument could get any bigger, Dream had suddenly appeared in the overworld. He landed on the grass with a harsh thud. Dream! Dream! You all rushed over to his side, to which he waved off. 
Both Sapnap and George helped him up onto his feet. I'm fine, I'm fine. He's just really lucky. Sapnap approached him to craft Eyes of Ender. As they successfully crafted a few, Dream flicked one up. It slowly rises and leads towards one direction before ultimately plunging to the ground. The blonde catches it right before it lands and doubles checks if it snapped in two. Well, we have our lead. Let's go. The walk was quiet, save for the occasional clinking of the Ender eyes that came from Dream. It was a bit too quiet for your liking. Let's talk to George. Any injuries, George? You slowed your pace down the match with George's, who was situated on the very end of your little line of follow the leader. The colorblind male had been munching on his share of bread, effectively replenishing his health. He nods as he swallows his recent bite. I'm all good, dude. I've seen 26. Thanks for asking. You need anything? I need that ass. I just figured that since you've been with us this entire time, might as well get to know each other a bit more. What else would you like to do outside of this? Well, I'm quite in the chess. I play it from time to time with the other two. If you are into it, that's okay. But if you really want to learn it, I can teach you. Maybe even have a little chess date, if you like that. <laughs> Shit, I mean, maybe. <laughs> Everyone stopped walking when Dream halted in his tracks. It's down here, he announces as he whipped out his pickaxe, beginning to mine away through the ground. George and Sapnap had gone to do the same thing on either side of him, and so he decided to follow through and mimic their actions in front of the hole Dream made. You all took a better look at which part of the stronghold you guys were located in, and you realized you were in the middle of it with three pathways. The end portal, the library, and a way to another hallway. Wow, we're right in front of the end portal. That's just really lucky, you know? I'll go over here and check if there's any stuff I can grab before we enter. Same, I'll check over here. You're then left to your own devices again. I wonder what I will be prompted with. I will go to the library so I can have sex. Do you know shoot 26? <gasps> Stop. Uh, stop, 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 stop. I figure that maybe this will be the last time we'll be able to talk in a calmer matter, let's say. So, I just want to admit something. Dean F. 26, I think you're really amazing. I hope I don't, like, overwhelm you anything. I just wanted to let you know that. Oh, yeah. As everyone started to regroup, the quiet humming of the finished end portal echoes out. Nervously, Sapnap speaks. Uh, any encouraging words before we hop in? Turn to George. George sighs, shaking his head a bit before looking back at you all with a smile of his own. All right then, I know most of this was my fault, but there's no time to dwell on that now. What matters is that we're close to what's probably a solution and that we'll all be able to escape this realm and return back home. On three? Sapnap shakily breathes. <sighs> One, two, three. Let's fucking go. Go ahead and push towards the dragon. I'll take care of the ender crystals. After a few more minutes of combat, it seemed that the ender dragon's health had depleted until halfway. George had done his job of shooting all the healing crystals. The last time you glanced at the dragon's health bar, it was nearly finished. Just a few critical hits, and it would be over. You sighed as you took your time, finally being able to fish it out from all your belongings. You were about to eat it when you heard a bellowing noise from above. <laughs> the ender dragon was coming right at you. DNF shooter 26! You froze up and shut your eyes tight as you brace yourself for what was about to happen. You heard the noise of a hit. You didn't feel any pain. You opened your eyes and saw George, who had his bow up and fired his last arrow at the dragon that had been only one hit away. The dragon screeches as it levitates up, light protruding its body as it slowly disintegrates into specks of particles and EXP points. Oh my god, George, you did it! Yeah, that's our boy! George was then lifted into the air by the two, the male himself laughing loudly as they all cheered. Dreamed helped you up to your feet, giving you the golden apple you dropped to heal up. You nodded at him and thanks, feeling a whole lot better as you took a bite out of it and turned to see Sapnap pushing a blushing George towards you. When he was right in front of you, you had simply thanked him for being brave and saving your life. Um... Really glad you're okay, DNF Shooter 26. All right, you two are cute. We get it. Come on. Let's go home. You hope that once you all jump in, you will all, one, be able to come back home safely, and two, remember everything that had happened. You were nervous, but this was so far your only choice to jump into the unknown. You felt someone grab a hold of your hand. Your gaze trailed from the portal to see that it was George himself. He had a soft, reassuring smile on his face as he squeezed your hand. You were sure that he was nervous too. On three, one, two, three! You woke up on your bedroom floor, clutching at your throbbing head. It seemed that you had fallen over to your chair. You hear your phone buzzing from your desk. Groaning, you crawled over to check what your notifications were going off for. For the first few spams, it had been from your friends. You were apparently late for your Hypixel game together with them. The most recent one was George Not Found went live. Fixing my chair. George Not Found. George. Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. 
You quickly press on the notification, the stream's audio booming out of your phone's speakers. Sorry, guys. I know we were supposed to be doing a Minecraft challenge right now, but our connection's in some sort of blip, and now my chair is wrecked. The chat roars in laughter. Let me, oh. Your heartbeat rising. You impulsively sent a dono to try and catch his attention. Hey, George, so I just had this, like, schizophrenic nightmare that I was in Minecraft with you, and you fell in love with me. So I was just wondering if you remembered it. What? Okay, who just dono? Thank you for the dono. Wait, George stopped himself when he had read your username. DNF Shooter 26? Hold on. Dear me on Twitter, do you have the same user? You immediately transferred to Twitter. <laughs> of course we did. And sent him a message. George, it's me. Do you remember everything? The Minecraft realm, the library, the golden apple? Your heart rate picks up as you anxiously wait for a response. Oh, you hope you were quick enough. You heard his quick typing noises from his stream as the chat zoomed by with your name combined with a bunch of question marks asking who you were. And then suddenly, someone joined the call. Dream! George, what the hell are you doing? It's DNF Shooter 26! What, what do you mean it's DNF Shooter 26? Mute your mic on stream, you idiot. The audio from both Dream and George's mic have been silenced. And then suddenly, you have a notification beat from Twitter. Dream DNF Shooter 26! Of course I remember! Smiley face! Dream's helping me book a flight for you right now! Will next week be okay? Holy shit, POV! Groomed! Oh my god! Was that too quick? Oh my god, I'm so sorry! George! It's okay. I'm free, so it's okay. I don't have school tomorrow. <laughs> God damn it. Please don't look at my stream for like five seconds. Curiously, you peeked at the stream window in the bottom corner. George was jumping around in happiness, arms in the air before returning back to the mic, seemingly telling the other male of your decision. <laughs> you laughed to yourself, your cheeks hurting from how much you were smiling that entire time. You couldn't wait to see him again. George, romantic end, plane trip. That was not a good ending. We ended up in the UK. That was the worst ending. We got the British ending, chat. Bad ending. Oh my god, you're shitting me. You took it. You took the name. You madman. You absolute fucking madman. Hello, I like money. Hey, Weast. You dreamt that you played MC with me, and I think we are now star crossed lovers. Now kiss me. Big segs. Yeah, I'll get you on a flight out here tomorrow. Go ahead and delete any trace of you living where you are now, because you're now my little kitten. You're going to live in my dungeon.